I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen here in Hebrew City, Utah with the Nielsen Clinic. I'd like to visit with you today about a very important topic related to parasites. Probably something that most people want to avoid the discussion of because who wants to admit or acknowledge that they've caught something from their pet or from the water or from some river or some form or source that they may not even be aware of. When we look at parasites, we talk about those different organisms that could afflict the GI system. Giardia, amoeba, roundworms, different types of flukes. And these organisms try to create within us a lasting relationship. Some references say right now that up to 83 to even 86% of Americans have a chronic parasite. According to the World Congress of Tropical Disease and Medicine, at least 45% of Americans have chronic amoeba infections and will actually carry those to the grave. When we look at afflictions or symptoms, especially in children, the inability to rest is a common symptom of parasites. A child will be either unable to fall asleep, particularly stay asleep, or even feel restful. If your child isn't able to have that good quality sleep, they're missing out on an opportunity for growth because during the night, the body's actually healing, the greatest amount of growth hormone is released, and the child isn't able then to recover and mature. So if you see your child looking a little ashen, but especially unable to sleep, maybe we need to look for parasites. Commonly, you'll also see skin afflictions, and one of the more common skin afflictions that I'm seeing correlated to parasites is psoriasis. When we ask people about their psoriasis history, and that's that reddened skin with the flaky appearance to it, we're seeing that especially at the elbows and on the knees. But in children, you'll see it often on the scalp. And that scalp presentation and down onto the spine, we really look closely as a potential indication of parasites. So I've been working for quite a while with some different labs regarding parasites, and there are several out there that do a good job, but recently I've been introduced to a Dr. Rafael D'Angelo from Colorado. He is a medical pathologist and his information can be found at parawellnessresearch.com. We'll give that information again. Dr. D'Angelo had done his tour after finishing medical school in Vietnam. And when he was there, he observed several of the military men, the soldiers coming out of the jungles, having these different health afflictions. And so he started to delve more deeply into the analysis and evaluation of parasitology. And what he found, he said, was just absolutely amazing, the correlation to their wellness and the disease process and these parasites. He's now retired, but has a private lab, the parawellnessresearch.com. And in his personal lab, he actually takes both urine and a stool sample and he prepares those on a slide. He looks at those through the microscope and then stains each of the slides in specific ways to actually identify organisms or different phases of the organism based off of the slide preparation and staining techniques. A great, great uh, technique because test kits that I'm sending him now We've had 100% of the patients coming back with a positive on those. Everything, again, from worms to different types of amoebas, different type of protozoans, as well as yeast. He also will send it out for an immunoassay to be able to determine if the immune system is reacting, for example, to Giardia or Cryptosporidium. The nice thing about working with Dr. D'Angelo is because he is a medical doctor, he can give us a recommendation both for the medical prescriptive type of a treatment, as well as using a natural compounding pharmacy that uses a natural or botanical type of a treatment for the patient. Typically, the treatment covers three months, and after the three months, Dr. D'Angelo recommends that we do a follow-up pair wellness test to prove that we've eliminated the infection and actually then see a resolution of the symptoms. And symptoms of parasitology, especially in children, include some of the neurodevelopmental delays that we see. So some children are responding well with autism to the treatment of parasites. Some children with ADD or attention deficits are also responding well to parasite treatments. When we look also in adults, again, 
weight gain, weight loss, depression, abdominal pain, food sensitivities, also associated with parasites. Dr. D'Angelo actually reports that many of the parasites that we think or have thought would be eliminated by chlorination in drinking water are actually passing directly through and that actually becomes a source for us. Our pets that may be in our homes or around our homes, we treat them for parasites but forget to take care of ourselves. Poorly processed or poorly prepared meats can actually create in us that potential for parasite infection. As well as vegetables. Vegetables that come to us seasonally, many of us can't grow in our own garden during the year, have to come from other areas and other regions and may again have been uh, contaminated by some type of a parasite. Either again by an application of a fertilizer, uh, some type of just a culture in the water that's being spread onto the plant, as well as potential human interaction with that. So the key is detecting them. We found with Dr. D'Angelo a great resource, parawellnessresearch.com. Highly recommend looking him up or working with us to be able to access that information. If you have any questions or if you suspect that you may have a parasite, let's run a test. Find out what specifically may be there and see how your body and your health can improve. I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.